Okay, designers, once you're in Tinkercad and you're ready to get busy with learning the different ways to interface with this program and actually do some drafting things, I highly recommend that you go to the Learn tab. And under the Learn tab, there are some basic tutorials that I'd like you all to take a look at. Um, it starts with learning the moves, and I like to do them in order. Camera controls is number two, creating holes is number three, and scale, copy, and paste is number four. So let's go ahead and start with learning the moves. So the Learning the Moves tutorial is really all about how you work with objects in the 3D space. And what's cool about all of these tutorials is once they load, you'll notice on the left-hand side, there's going to be a series of instructions. And then there is a work plane that shows the actual uh, Tinkercad interface that you would be using as a drafter and designer when you're building things in 3D. So over here, it says, let's learn to move shapes along the work plane. Uh, by the way, when you're doing all of these, I highly recommend that you use a mouse, not a trackpad, um, when you are going to move things around. Uh, the keyboard shortcuts will be very handy, and we'll be teaching those you those soon. But let's go ahead and follow along step by step here. Learn to move the shapes, shapes along the work plane. I can go ahead and go to the next one. It says position the shape on the target. Drag the light brown construction to the area outlined in orange. And so in order to drag the light brown construction, that's this one on the right, I'm gonna go ahead and left click on my mouse, just a simple regular click, and that helps me grab the object. So I'm gonna move it around and it says, hey, cool, go ahead and put it right there. Um, what's neat about 3D is you can, you've got different views as well. So I can look at this from the top view. I can look at it from the front view. I can look at it from any of the side views. Here's right, back left. I can look at it from the bottom. And then I, if I get lost or need to go back somewhere, I can go and press the home button. Now, if I hold down my right mouse, that's how I can move the camera around. And I can also right click and hold. And I can spin all the way around this object. Let's go back to home here. But it wanted me to move this object directly on to the orange interface. You can kind of get it close. I'm going to right click and hold and look around up top. I'm going to spin around. Looks like we've got that thing all lined up. Okay. okay, let's see. If we needed help, we can say show hint. Drag the shape, press and hold the left mouse button while the cursor is over the shape, just like we did there. So that looks good. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the next step. And then it'll say, hey, look, congratulations, you did it. Don't forget, you can move shapes by dragging them with the mouse. You can move shape by selecting the shape and pressing the arrow keys on the keyboard. So great job there. We've got that done. And if this was a tutorial that I was working through, I would want to take a screenshot of this and then use that for my evidence that I have completed the Learning the Moves tutorial. So if you're working through this, go ahead and do that now. Get that screenshot in and then we'll move on to the next tutorial shortly.